Guys and girls, welcome back to YouTube. I'm not gonna go into the whole of where I've been, what I'm doing, because I do it every time and then I go MIA again. We're going straight into the video. We've got new wheels. We've got a set of Forge Monoblock Vossens. I've just been to the tire shop to get the tires done. Car's already on the ramp with the old wheels off. The McCann has firmly been doing its job of the hauler. LC301, brush gloss clear. I'll show you some more up close clips of that in a minute but we're gonna give the car a little clean down. We need to deal with the dirty brakes while we're doing it. We'll put a coating on the wheels, maybe another coating on the brakes. And then we might have another surprise of something else to put on the car. There's a great Audi TT, two litre. I was about to say that the other thing was what you'll be excited for going on. Oh no, that's so much cool news. Thank you. These are a forged monoblock one piece, Vossen LC301 can't really see the size difference here. These are the fronts. These are the rears, a bit large. 20 by nine ET35 on the front, 21 by 12 and a half ET40 on the rear. The rears have got an idiotic amount of concave, which is very good. So we're gonna give them a quick wipe over, a quick coating, put them on that. This is our other addition. Yes, it's on the floor. I'm sorry, automotive passion. We've got an Audi sport style rear wing that's going to go on tonight as well. While we're at it, I wanted to show some of the attention to detail. So the forged caps, I really like this touch. The red bit is actually screwed in. So you can actually remove the red part and change the colour should you want to. Why don't you make a bit more noise? And this is cool. You get wheel bolts with them that I can focus, have V for Vossen in them, which is very cool. While we're here, lads, we'll uh, bit of Maguire's quick detail off, give the brakes a bit of a spruce up while they're uh, accessible. We need to do something about the bells. He's already given me ideas, but let's get in the comments. What should we do about these? What did you say? Rapid Paint them. wheel silver. Right, he's got a thing for rapid wheel silver. Maybe polish? Or do we just leave them? Comments, please. If you polish those bells, they will last two weeks because you will not pull your wheels off to clean them. We've gave the quick coating on all four of the wheels. They're ready to go on the car. We're going to throw them on, put the caps in, pull the car down. I'll show you what we do with my spoiler because I haven't got a fixed base spoiler. This was a non plus, so it's got the retractable. So I'll show you how we activate and deactivate that. The wheels are on. Don't swear in the video. <laughs> we're on. We're gonna put this. No, are we gonna? No, we're not gonna put it down yet. We're gonna do the spoiler before we do that, so we can then get the full effect of the new look. The finish on these wheels, by the way, is incredible. Nice little touch. Should I have done this yellow for the brakes? But then I am potentially thinking about the brakes going white. Steve got himself a big gateway. It's not gay, it's very cool. No, it's cool. This is the next option. There we go, that's it. Just if we just cable oh, tie it on, it to the back extra downfalls. Yeah. Um, I'm on the side. Purple's looking good here in the light. Purple looks good. Next up. Fresh new Maguire's pad. The best tyre gel. Known to man. Gonna need to uh <laughs> nice bit of tire shine. Give the nice new tires and the nice new wheels. So everything looks fancy. So anyone with an R8 with a retractable rear spoiler that wants to get rid of said retractable. It is this fuse here. And then you get your spoiler working again. Which we do this. Now the spoiler's up. So we've got two T20s under here. And that will take this off. Remove the old one. And hope the way that we've drilled the holes for this one, which it should, line up with the new one. As usual, I've not filmed shit. 
I had to extend this hole because this base is a retractable base, so it's basically the bodge way of doing this if you don't want to spend like £3,000 just on a base plate. But we've got it on, we've just put some sealant around it. This is how, if it stands. So we're gonna give the base and everything a little bit of a clean up, get it back on the car and see how this looks. It's day two, the last clips were on a Friday. Today is Sunday. This part wasn't actually meant to come until a little bit longer. Well, a lot longer, a little bit more delayed in a, few, in a week or so's time as Johnny wasn't available. But Jonathan Clark always does a lot of my body work and paint work, has managed to free up his Sunday today to paint my brakes. So now we're getting the whole overhaul in the same video. So I've just got the car on the ramp ready to go. I'm about to get the car up, get the wheels back off. We have run the car, so I have had it out with the new wheels. There is already some dirt on them. We're gonna see how uh, they handle to jet washing the dirt off. And then Johnny should be here hopefully in the next 20 minutes or so. Cover the car up, start prepping the brakes, and we'll have a new color on the brakes today. And the end of the video will be some overhaul clips of the whole new look, the new Vossens, the new colorway of the brakes, the new wing on it. And that's gonna be like version 4.5 to see this out for the rest of the year. We are all masked up. You don't realize how long it takes to mask a car up when you're willing to paint something. But Johnny has got it ready to go. We've got a etch primer on that also works, I believe, as some form of bonding agent. By the way, the prep for doing this stuff is far longer than actually painting the calipers. Logos are on. So we've gone with a the OEM color of the car, which is Suzuka gray. And we put a bit more white in it and added some pearl. But these are going to look sick, I think. Let's get a look at the front. Behind those brush glass bosses, they're gonna look very, very cool. The wheels are back on. And that combo looks 10 times better than the yellow. We're going to put it back on the floor and you can see the uh, new look. We are done. The new wheels, the new spoiler. We painted the brakes. I don't even know where to start. I always seem to get myself a bit excited once we've done something new to the car because I seem to feel like I've outdone myself a little bit every time. Audi Sport Style Spoiler from Automotive Passion. Vossen LC301 forged monoblock wheels 20 by 9 21 by 12 and a half in a brush gloss clear finish and then we've done the brakes in a suzuka gray we've added a bit more white put a pearlescent into them kev at kw customs very last minute got me the logos for the brakes i also want to say big up to james at crescent tires for getting me the what seemed like gold dust at the moment 21 inch michelin ps4s rear tires Let's get a look at the car. The Audi Sport rear spoiler looks insane. You can actually get different feet. You can get feet on this that make the spoiler stand up higher. But I really, really like the way that it's probably actually lower down than what my Vorsteiner style one was. But I feel like it really, really suits the car. Then we've got the brakes. The rear brakes in the... Suzuka added white, bit more pearlescent. Same with the fronts, really, really suit it. And then the wheels just look absolutely incredible. It's real hard to get on camera the concave of the rear wheels, but I'm I'm absolutely over the moon with this finish. And then the uh, the overall car. And on that note, that is the video done mind blown with this look we've uh, we've done it pretty good i'll just want to say on here saturday the first of july 
Car Audio Security have got a bagged only cars, wait, bagged only cars and coffee, sponsored by Airlift. Doesn't matter if your car's on Airlift, as long as it's on a, a, some form of air suspension, you are welcome. Get your tickets at Car Audio Security. I'll be there in the R8. Thank you for watching the video. Hit in the comments what you think about the new look. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.